friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I'm on the WW Blue Plan and I am also a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. And today we are talking October favorites. Now I'm posting this on October 31st, happy Halloween. So happy Halloween, but this is going to be all of my favorite things for the month of October. I have lots of things I want to put out in November. So I thought I'd get a jump start and put favorites in on the very last day of October. So if you're excited for another WW foods favorites, household favorites, beauty favorites, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it. It so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below where I will list everything I share with you today other than the items that you can find at your local grocery store. Nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. My three recipe ebooks, breakfast, lunch, and dinner that all contain 50 recipes with WW plan points for all plans included and calories. I will be putting out the fourth and final book here shortly. So definitely have these three on hand for that fourth and final book links, discounts to all my favorite things. And don't forget to come on over, join us on Facebook. We would love to have you. So let's jump into my October favorites. <laughs> always, we're going to be starting with my WW food favorites, especially so that I can get the cool things back into the refrigerator. So favorite number one are these mini baguettes from the freezer section at Trader Joe's. Although they say baguettes, they're really about the size of a breadstick, but these are so incredibly delicious. They're 110 calories a piece and three points. So if you like a good crusty breadstick with a meal, this is perfect. You can't overeat them because they're only three points a piece. So you can have one or two and stay within your points. And they are just so, so good. We'll often add a little bit of butter and garlic salt to the top, pop them in the oven. And they're just the perfect breadstick or mini baguette as a side dish. Again, you can find these in the freezer section at your local Trader Joe's. Next up is the pumpkin spice coffee creamer from Natural Bliss. Now, even though this says Natural Bliss, all natural creamer with real milk and cream, no artificial colors or flavors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that is in here, but it still contains natural flavors, which natural flavors are the same as artificial flavors. However, the ingredients in the Natural Bliss creamer are so much better than any other of the traditional Coffee Mate International Delight brands. And this pumpkin spice one is so so good. It is 35 calories per tablespoon, one point per tablespoon. Really good. If you love pumpkin spice, but not too spicy and still sweet, you will love this creamer. And the last keep it cold in the refrigerator item is this kitchen and love quinoa quick cup with artichoke and roasted pepper. Now I picked this up in my imperfect foods order. I don't know if you can find these local. I'm sure that you can. I will link them down below if I can find a place to order them online. And I will also link imperfect foods down below. You get $20 worth of free groceries when you sign up for imperfect foods and there is no minimum order. So you can order $20, pay the $5 in shipping. You can have $20 worth of goodies for free. So I ordered these on my order and these are really delicious. They're quick, they're easy. You just stir this up and go. You can eat it warm, you can eat it cold. It's 210 calories, it's vegan and gluten-free. It's just really good. It's a great way to get in a nice, clean ingredient snack or lunch. I've been using these a lot for lunch. They have really good ingredients. The only thing is sunflower oil, which isn't always the best quality oil but everything else in here is perfection when it comes to ingredients and they're really really delicious next is this trader joe's organic peppermint herbal tea i'm actually almost out of this this is such a fantastic tea sometimes i'm cold during the day or it's cold outside and i just want something warm that's zero calories zero points this tea is delicious i love that it's organic and it has the perfect peppermint flavor. It's really affordable. I think it's just a couple dollars and it contains a 20 tea bags. So if you love peppermint tea and you have a Trader Joe's near you, definitely pick this one up. Next is from the brand Simple Mills. This is their seed and nut flour sweet thins in mint chocolate. You can have 12 thins for 140 calories. 
These are so good. These taste like little bitty mint cookies. I mean, they're that good. They have great ingredients. It has a seed and nut flour blend, coconut sugar, tapioca starch, arrowroot, cocoa butter, Dutch cocoa powder, cocoa extract, baking soda, rosemary extract, sea salt, peppermint extract, and cream of tartar. So nice, clean ingredients. They're really good. They literally taste like a little mint cookie. This is the size of them. And again, you get 12 of them for the points and calories. They're so good. They're so chocolatey, so minty. So if you want a sweet treat, crunchy cracker for good ingredients, highly recommend. I bought these off of the Thrive Market. You guys know how much I love the Thrive Market. I'm officially favoriting the Thrive Market. So I'll go ahead and link that down below. You get 25% off of your first order and a free gift when you sign up for Thrive. Thousands of fantastic products you can't find anywhere else. I've never seen these and these are so 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 good Next are the yum earth organic candy corn. They're empty because we ate all of these. They are so good This is a healthier alternative to candy corn. It tastes just like regular candy corn. They're 70 calories a pouch They come in individual little packages, so you can't overeat them there are three points. They have good ingredients. They're gluten-free organic and non-gmo They're manufactured and packaged in a peanut and tree nut facility and they're made without egg, soy, dairy, fish, shellfish, peanuts or tree nuts, artificial dyes, and high fructose corn syrup. So if you want, again, a healthier version of candy corn, these are really good. I found these at natural grocers, but I know you can pick them up at Sprouts, Whole Foods, the Thrive Market, and you can often order these on the Yum Earth website. Next is the Kinder's Blend Seasoning. This is the salt pepper and garlic blend. Now I bought the big, huge one at Costco. This is an USDA organic seasoning. It's so good. You can see we've used a lot of this. It just goes on everything. Anything that you would put salt, pepper, and garlic in, this is the perfect, perfect seasoning for that. It is just so good and so flavorful. And again, I bought mine at Costco. It has sea salt, garlic, black pepper, and it does contain sunflower oil that is organic. So it's a little bit better than non-organic sunflower oil. It is still zero calories, zero points. Thin Stackers Lemon Poppy Seed Rice Cakes are amazing. These are white chocolate lemon poppy seed coated rice cakes. Again, I bought these at Natural Grocers. I have seen these on Amazon. I'll link the Amazon ones down below. They're actually less expensive than the health food store, but these are a two pack of white chocolate coated rice cakes. They're 150 calories for both and four points, and they're really, really good. It's a healthier sweet treat because it's a rice cake, but it's coated with this yummy white chocolate and poppy seed. They have several different flavors. I've actually bought a few of the different ones and they're all really 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 good and again they do sell them on Amazon for less than I found them in natural grocer so I will link the Amazon ones down below for you next up is ketchup I know it's an odd favorite but I had to share this is the primal kitchen organic unsweetened ketchup this ketchup is so good this ketchup is better than regular ketchup it is 10 calories for one tablespoon it has perfect ingredients. There is no questionable ingredients in this. If you look at the back of the other no sugar added ketchups you buy in a store, they do not have the best ingredients. This one has just perfect ingredients and the flavor is so, so, so good. I buy mine either from Imperfect Foods or Thrive. I know that you can buy these at stores like Target and of course in your Whole Foods and your Sprouts. I believe it's $4.99 a bottle on both Thrive and Imperfect Foods, which is less than I can buy this ketchup for in my local store. So I just ordered it online but it's so good if you want a healthier no sugar added ketchup pick up the primal kitchen and the last ww food favorite i have is this our x bar this is the seasonal limited edition flavor of pecan so what is in this bar is three egg whites four cashews five pecans two dates and no bs i will say that this bar does contain natural flavors and like i mentioned natural flavors are artificial flavors however it is a pretty healthy alternative to an on-the-go bar and it's really good. This one is one of my favorites because it's just packed with nuts. And I think that, and it keeps me full for longer. It has a good amount of fiber and protein because it is packed with nuts. Just really, really good. It's limited edition. I bought an entire box from Imperfect Foods. I've seen these at Trader Joe's. I've seen this at the grocery store. Really good. If you will want a good limited edition RX bar, pick up the pecan one. Now I have a couple of household kitchen types of things that I wanted to favorite this month. And the first one is this Lens and Tech wipes. These are little pre-moistened 
little towelette wipes. You can see that our box is almost gone. These work so, so good to clean computer screens, TVs, your cell phone. These are amazing. They come individually packaged. They're nice and pre-moistened. They don't scratch or cause any type of damage to your electronics. This is actually the second box of these that we've purchased. There's 300 wipes in here. We just buy them on Amazon. They're really, really affordable. Troy uses it almost daily to clean his cell phone. I use it to clean the screen of my laptop. I find with Windex, it leaves a film and streakiness on my laptop where these work really, really well. And like I said, they're really affordable. You can buy them on Amazon. We love these. We will forever repurchase these. And the second home favorite and the final home favorite is my little Bolton and Grand charcuterie board. I shared this in a what I eat in a day video. And on the 29th of October, we had a little Halloween get together and I used this charcuterie board and tools for the first time. I got so many compliments on this board. It's acacia wood. It is absolutely beautiful. It has a leather string to hang it. It is complete acacia wood, 100%. It is sealed, so nothing seeps into the wood. And then I also have the little Bolton and Grand tool set that has knives and spatula spatulas for a charcuterie board. This is a small business. It's my subscriber, Edie, that owns this online Bolton and Grand business. I'm linking it down below for you. She did offer a discount for you guys, not an affiliate link, just a discount for you for about a month. It should still be active. So if you want a great Christmas gift idea or you just wanna up your charcuterie board game, take advantage of the Bolton and Grand set here. It's a small business. It's a fellow subscriber. Best to support them, especially with the holidays coming up. This would make a great gift or again, a gift for yourself. Now moving into beauty and skincare. So what I decided to do for this portion of my favorites is I'm gonna share a product with you from the majority of skincare and makeup lines. So I'm going to pick a product from the makeup and skincare line. So I may have a blush or a mascara or a powder. I might have a moisturizer or a toner. And I'm gonna share with you some of my beauty favorites that I've been loving for the month of October. We're going to start with this mineral hydration water from the brand OC. You can see that I've used over half of this. This is a sea mineral mist. This is amazing. I actually got this in a subscription box. I will be repurchasing this. This is a hydration mist that you can spray on your face before and after makeup or throughout the day to give your face a little bit of extra hydration. It really helps sink your makeup into your skin and keep it lasting throughout the day. I generally will spray my face one or two times a day with this. It's just so nice. It has like the perfect mister. It doesn't give you too much and it just leaves my skin feeling nice and hydrated. So I love this. I'm a big fan of facial mist and this OC one is fantastic. I've also been loving this bronzer. This is from the brand Real Her and this is the Bronzed Beauty Bronzer. And this is their bronzer in the shade Bronzed Beauty. It comes with a mirror and this is the color of the bronzer. It's a really nice cool tone bronzer. The packaging is fantastic. Fantastic. This Real Her brand, I have been thoroughly impressed with their products. I have lip liners and lip glosses and liquid lips from them that are amazing. One of my favorite glosses, I'm almost out of the entire tube, is from the brand Real Her. So I've just been loving this bronzer. I just love the look of it, the cool toneness of it, the coloring. It's really, really good bronzer. It's not too powdery and it just sinks into your skin. Next is from ColourPop. This is their No Filter Setting Loose setting powder in translucent. So this is the setting powder that I use to set my face. Now I don't heavily set my face here because I have pretty normal to dry skin, but I always, always set my T-zone with setting powder. This powder is so affordable and it completely blurs your skin. I tap this in and it just blurs my skin. It sets my makeup. It's just amazing. This is such a fantastic, fantastic powder. I did a full face of ColourPop makeup over on my beauty channel. I'll link that video down below and my beauty channel if you don't follow me there. And I use this powder there and I've been loving it ever since. You can see that it's like three quarters of the way gone. I will be buying this again. This is such a great setting powder. I have to share this little brush with you from Tarte. So I actually saw this on a beauty YouTuber's channel that I watch and I went ahead and went on the Tarte website and bought this and I love this brush. It is the perfect angle to get in 
to your cheekbone area and pack and contour or bronzer. It's so soft and fluffy. I love this. I use it every single day to really define out my cheekbones. I find that this brush and the angle of it and just the way that it is sits in your hands just works so good to define out your cheekbones. So highly recommend this brush from Tarte. It wasn't very expensive and it, I, I literally use this brush every day. Next is an eye serum. This is from the brand Mud Masky. Now I will tell you that this is a very, very expensive product, but it works very, very well. I saw noticeable differences with this eye serum within a couple of days. So I applied this under my eye, on my lid, and over where you get the crow's feet every single night. It has brightened my under eye. It has removed a lot of the darkness. It's really plumped up the fine lines under my eyes, and I have a lot of fine lines. I'm, almost, I'm in my late 40s, so I get a lot of fine lines under my eyes. This has made a complete world of difference. It is worth every single penny if you're aging and you want something that actually works for an eye cream or an eye serum, pick up the Mud Masky one. You definitely won't be disappointed. It is a splurge, but remember you use very, very little product when it comes to eye products. Next is this liquid lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the color Trust Issues. I wore this lip color in a weigh-in video about a week ago, and so many of you asked what I was wearing. It was this color from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Trust Issues. This is a liquid lip, so it's very, very drying. What I like to do is just apply a gloss over the top if you don't like the drying, but the color of this liquid lip is so perfect for fall. It is so pretty and vampy. I just absolutely love this. This is such a fantastic liquid lip. So this is the color. So you can see that it's kind of like a dark vampy kind of reddish pink. It is just such a beautiful color and liquid lips stay on all day. I love this one. I actually got this in a subscription box, but I will definitely be buying another one. Next is this texture smoothing cream from the brand Coco Kind. I bought this at Target. This is my daytime moisturizer. It is so good, you guys. It smooths texture on your face. It's very, very hydrating. You can see I've used over half of it. It has a very nice, light fragrance. It's a very, very good daytime moisturizer. Now, I probably wouldn't use this at night. It's just not thick and goopy and emollient enough for me at night, but I've really, really been liking this for the daytime. It's affordable, it's effective, it works really well, and you can pick it up at Target. Next up is this Tarte Cream Blush, and this is in the color Peach Sunset. This blush is so, so pretty. As we move into fall, I've been really getting into these kind of more fall colored blushes. And this one from Tarte blends so well into the skin. It doesn't sit on your skin. It actually just sinks in. So here's the color right here. You can see it's peachy, but it also has kind of that fall look to it. It's such a good cream blush. And I love cream blush. I own probably 50 cream blushes, and I reach for this one a lot. In fact, this is the cream blush that I have on today. Really, really good. This is actually a smaller deluxe size, and I've barely made a dent in this blush, and I use it all the time. It's a fantastic cream blush. The next item I wanna share is from Milani. This is their Supercharged Under Eye Tint. Now, this is a product I use every single morning, I love this. I can't believe how good this works for a drugstore brand. I apply this under my eye before I go in with foundation, concealer, and it is an eye, under eye brightener. So it really brightens up your under eye, takes away any of the dark circles or redness that you have. Sometimes I even put this on the side of my nose where I get a little bit of redness. It is just such a great product and it really, really just brightens up the under eye. So you can see that it's peachy colored and peach color corrects darkness. So it is just such a fantastic product. I absolutely love it. And it's the best under eye brightener I've ever used and it's drugstore and it's affordable. I have to include a highlighter and this one is my baby. This is my Jaclyn Hill Loose Highlighter in the shade Extra. This highlighter, if you wanna be seen from space, this is the highlighter for you. It's actually the one that I have on today. I love it, number one, because it's loose. So I just shake a little bit of it out into the cap and a little bit goes a long way. As we know, Jaclyn Hill is known for her highlighter. So just the tiniest bit on your brush will give you this blinding highlight. You can see that. I mean, it is so, so pretty. Here's the shade, look at that. 
I mean, it is literal blinding, and that was the tiniest bit that I pulled out of the cap. Such a great highlighter. I hate when highlighter accentuates texture, and I hate when highlighter sits on my skin and doesn't actually, look at that, you can see it on my hand, that is so crazy. Doesn't actually sink into the skin, and this one is a million out of 10. I could throw away every other highlighter if I just had this one to use for the rest of my life because I love a good blinding highlight. I love a non-texture bearing highlight. Obsessed. And last but not least, we always end out my beauty favorites with an eyeshadow palette. And this month's palette is from Good Old Color Pop, and this is the Plush Like Me palette. So this is a 90s vampy derived color story. It comes with a beautiful mirror, and it is just such a pretty fall winter color story. It is again themed from the 90s, so you have those like grungy, vampy shades. The shimmers in this palette are incredible. ColourPop has really, really stepped up their game. And ColourPop is such an affordable brand. The packaging has a velvet on the front. I mean, it's everything. So I'm going to swatch it so you can see how beautiful these colors are. And if you love this whole vampy fall vibe, this may be the perfect palette for you. So here are the swatches. So here is the first row. You're a little bit lighter shades, but look at the shimmer. I mean, the shimmer is everything. Now these three shades are a portion of the second row. This color right here is really pretty, but this bottom row, this is the last row in the palette. This one steals my heart. This shimmer shade right here, holy moly is it gorgeous, and I just love this deep vampy wine color. It's just such a beautiful formula, such a beautiful color story. So out of all my palettes, a ColourPop palette stole my heart. So I will go ahead and link Plush Like Me down below. It's still available on the ColourPop website. If you love the color story, definitely pick it up. It is just such a beautiful, beautiful fall palette. So that is everything that I have for you for my October favorites. I feel like we had so many good things, WW Foods, household, lots of beauty and skincare. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you'd never miss a single video. I do a favorites every single month. I will link everything down below for you, as well as all of my other favorite things, nutrition, coaching, the recipe ebook. Don't forget to come on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. Happy almost November friends, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.